Lions TV, um, chat and chip. Sheffield United one, Millwall two. Um, you see by the smile on my face and the the beaming sort of expression, um, a lot more positive than I was Saturday. Um, I, I was absolutely distraught, wasn't I? I think I think a lot of us were um, seeing that. And tonight was everything in terms of um, a little bit more desire. You know, in terms of work ethic and desire and pressing that everything it wasn't on Saturday and. I think um, let's not get away from ourselves. It wasn't like we absolutely tore them apart uh, and was all over them. I think we still gave them too much of the ball when they're 10 men, but you've got to start taking wins when teams go down to 10 men. Take take advantage of that and actually put it in. Um, I thought we started off really well, very positive. As I say, pressed high. Uh, Bradshaw, even though if he's not getting the run of the green or scoring goals, I think when he's up there, he just gives us a bit more... Um, Umph in terms of uh, that press and that, that energy, I think um, he harasses. He's a little pest, you know. It just it just makes you sort of have to take one less touch and think quicker and panic. And then what we had, I thought Savile in that first half was brilliant in the high press. Jed got up a little bit and it made it really hard for them to, to play out. And I, I, I thought, well, where was this Saturday, you know? And Jed scores. I think these sort of uh, TV commentators were saying that he looks up and he, he puts it in. He meant it. I don't think he meant that. But again, we'll take it all day. And I just thought we had their goalie under a little bit of pressure um, with the balls in the box. He didn't look comfortable. He dropped a few. Uh, and it was good to see just that, you know, whatever happens here, we're actually giving it a go. We're pressing higher. We're actually getting our foot in. We're looking like we want to compete. I still think we had that lack of um, cutting edge still. But then they bring off Conor Hurahan, 30 minutes, 35 minutes. Well, that's a touch, but they brought this kid on, and for the last 10 minutes of this first half, I thought they had, they had the ball, they looked a little bit sharper, I think we are putting a few desperate blocks in, and then obviously the penalty, I think it was a silly penalty to give away, um, Malone was mar like moaning at the rest of the team that they left him 2-1, on one, which is a little bit valid, but um, if we're going to be critical with the ref, I think I thought the referee was hor horrendous, if you're a Sheffield United fan, as if we take our bias away, but... We don't get many of them on our side, so we take it. But if we're going to be a little bit critical, I thought the contact started outside the box, but it was a silly foul. You shouldn't be putting your hands on him and trying to have a little nibble when he's that that close to the box. And Billy Sharp does what Billy Sharp does. And then here we go, thinking, oh, second half, we're going to collapse. Start the first uh, second half, I thought, again, they had more of the ball. And then the, the I think the red card changes their, their mentality a little bit. It gave us a little bit of a boost. And then we started getting chances again. And then, just when you think he's petering out, Jake Cooper will not hit a ball like that again in his entire life. 25 yards out, arrows into the corner from our six foot six centre half. That just don't happen for Millwall. But we'll take it. I mean, there was, there was just pandemonium in my front room. I couldn't believe it. Um, <laughs> Jake Cooper, Juicy Jake does not do that. He does not do that, but he just did. In, in injury time, I was like, we're looking around, what the hell's just happened now? Wow. Um, well, again, I, I just, I just can't believe it. And well, from, from where we were Saturday to, to where we are tonight, I think that was, uh, what was needed. And again, there's chances there. To, um, you know, Jed's had one saved, um, from a scissor sort of volley. Bennett's then put the follow up from two yards wide, but then McGoldrick put one over the bar from a yard. So, you know, it was, it was not a bad little game, to be fair. Um, I enjoyed it. I think, um, Again, if you're looking looking at that, I think our defence was quite solid. I think Malone had a, quite a poor game, even though the guys on the TV said he played really well. I thought he gave the ball away a bit passive, always kept cutting back. But I like Malone, so it's going to happen. You're going to have bad games. Um, Evans didn't really do much, but Savile was much better today. Jed looked a little bit more lively, wanted to be direct going forward. Leonard didn't let us down. Bart made some a couple of cracking saves. Um, Ojo, as I think the boys are saying it on the... Uh, on the chat, it was, uh, it does look very lazy. If the ball, if the ball's not running for him, it does look lazy. And I think tonight is the first time I've seen him not really look for the ball. Um, again, Bradshaw was a pest without ever being a, too much of a threat. Um, uh, Phoebe come on, ran, ran some channels. Bennett looked direct and running. I mean, this, this is what we wanted to see on Saturday, you know, and we're getting, we're getting outrun by teams that want to run on and off the ball. It's a two, two way game. Um, so we've got to address that. I think again, 
big game on Saturday. Stoke are sixth in the table um, for a reason. They've played really well this year. But we take it one game at a time. I know that old cliche. Um, I'm going to keep predicting one all draws because this seems to be our result at the moment. But, you know, we keep winning. See where we go. Look, we've... Do, do we do we just go crazy? It's one really bad game. We won two games, two boring games, one nil before that. So it's just the way we are at the moment. You know how it's going to set up. We just got to take the wins where we can. And if we can get some sort of higher press and sort of some energy and excitement, hey, we'll enjoy ourselves a little bit more. But we won't be surprised if it's a boring nil nil on Saturday. But enjoy enjoy the uh, enjoy the evening, enjoy the rest of the week. I know I will. Come on, you lions!